We are learning more this morning about the French Canadian University student accused of killing and wounding worshippers inside a Quebec mosque. Canada's Prime Minister Justin Trudeau joined thousands who honored the victims last night at a vigil. Six people were killed and at least 17 others were hurt in the gunman's attack. In Paris, the Eiffel Tower went dark to honor the victims. Anna Warner is in Quebec City with new details about the suspect. Anna, good morning. Good morning. Police initially arrested two men following Sunday night's shooting, but later said that just one, Alexandre Bissonnet, remained a suspect. Now, sources tell CBS News that U.S. authorities did not have Bissonnet on their radar, and police here have not yet identified a motive. Quebec City's frigid temperatures didn't stop thousands from paying tribute to the victims of Sunday night's deadly shooting rampage at a local mosque. They are home here. Prime Minister Justin Trudeau joined other Canadian leaders, showing their support for Quebec's Muslim community. More than 50 worshippers were in the mosque when the attack began during evening prayers. Six men between the ages of 39 and 60 were shot and killed. Our hearts are broken and deeply troubled by what has happened to so many innocent people in a place of worship. Suspect 27-year-old Alexandra Bissonnet was a student at Laval University. He appeared in court yesterday and was charged with six counts of first-degree murder. The charges that have been laid are those that were disclosed by the evidence so far. It's an ongoing investigation. Law enforcement sources tell CBS News they believe Bissonnet is a right-wing extremist. On Facebook, he liked the political organization Generation Nationale, whose manifesto rejects multiculturalism. Make no mistake, this was a terrorist attack. Prime Minister Trudeau has welcomed refugees banned by the U.S. He spoke in Parliament to address the more than one million Muslims who live in Canada. 36 million hearts are breaking with yours. And no that we value you. One of the victims was 57-year-old store owner Azidin Sufian. The sadness is too great because he is a friend. We didn't expect to have this in Canada. Now, White House spokesman Sean Spicer told reporters yesterday that this attack was an example of why President Trump is taking steps to be proactive instead of reactive when it comes to national security. But of course, Nora, this attack was not from Islamic terrorists from overseas, but from a homegrown suspect, police say, here in Quebec. And that is what has officials worried homegrown yet. Anna Warner, thank you so much in Quebec City.